Hi, my name is Yusuf Yogi, and my email is yusufyogi90 at gmail.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to SSH or how to configure SSH into a router switch. I'm going to be showing you on a, uh, a router, excuse me. Um, it's all the same on uh, Cisco routers, uh, Cisco iOS, I better say. So um, we'll be using SSH version 2. All right, so let's enter a router. I'm already consoled in. First thing is get into enable mode, and then let's give or router a name. I'm gonna call mine. Um, actually, I need to be in uh, privilege mode. Um, host name Yagi router. As you can see, immediately I changed uh, the host name. Now we need to do a domain name for SSH. So IP domain name. And then you could do uh, like yourself dot lab, whatever you want. Uh, I actually have a domain name. It's down. Don't bother going there. I haven't had time to put anything on the website and enter. Now we need to go ahead and uh, configure the uh, or generate the uh, RSA token for uh, uh, SSH. Uh, sorry, it's not a key. It's a it's not a token. It's a key. RSA key. So, um, crypto, if you don't have crypto, uh, you would need to download the correct image uh, off the um, Cisco website. So, crypto key generate RSA and da, 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 enter. How many bits in the uh, modulus? 512. I'm just going to go. 124, 1024. Enter, uh, generating, and SSH-5 enabled, SSH-2 has been enabled. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and set up a um, timeout. And then I want everybody connected uh, to your router all the time, so. 60 seconds, that's a minute. Let's uh, also do a uh, for security authentica uh, authentication retries. Let's do uh, three, not 33, three. And then now we have to specify the version, the IPS Sage version two. I don't know why I keep on pressing three. All right. Now, here's the fun part where we need to enable SSH. So, line VTY0 space 4. Now, transport input SSH. I advise highly not to turn on Telnet. Telnet, if you have um, anybody uh, sniffing packets, they'll be able to know what your password is. Uh, I've actually tried that. Uh, a colleague of mine showed me uh, in Wireshark where it shows you the password. So, transport input SSH. If you want Telnet, you can just type Telnet and hit enter on strictly SSH. Alright, hit enter and then exit. Now we need to provide a username and password so we can log in. So, username, admin, password Cisco enter and exit and don't forget to do a copy run start
Now if we go ahead and open another PuTTY session and type in our IP address, for me it's this, enter, warning potential security breach, don't care, enter, login as admin, and password is Cisco. CISC0 oh. Did I not do that? Okay That did not work So let's go back And do No And let's do this again And instead, instead of Admin, let's see After admin You can do secret and then Cisco that should actually work now let's go ahead and try that ah it closed alrighty let's try again open another SSH uh, I mean putty session login as admin Cisco CISC0 What am I missing? I'm missing something um. Aha! There we go Okay, let's go back to line VTY04, login, local. We need to specify where we can log in from. So let's go back over here and type Cisco. And of course, it failed. Let's try again. Open for the third time. Hopefully, as they say, third time is a charm. Admin Cisco and we are in so Yagi router enable Cisco We're in enable mode now if we do show SSH And Type enter or just enter it will show Two sessions in and out and the username no SSH version 1 server connections running which is perfect uh, we just learned how to set up SSH on a router thank you for watching and um, enjoy learning studying for your CCNA or just playing around have a good day